Hey, Bob. I'm doing fine. Haven't seen you around in a while. And with that said, is there a reason you have a gun in the front of your waistband? Oh, this thing? I bought it a while back and I don't have anything to put it in, so I have just been carrying it around like this, which is why I look you up. Well, Bob, I know of a place where you could put it, but it would be highly unpleasant. Ooh. Are you recommending something to put it in? In a manner of speaking, yes I am. But let's take a look at a much better option than you carrying that thing around in your waistband. Let's go to the shop. First, Bob, let's hear about a holster company that I have bought holsters from for quite a while now. Falco Holsters delivers a unique combination of modern techniques and old world traditional craftsmanship to our portfolio of custom handgun holsters. Since 1989, the Falco brand has grown from a small garage in rural Slovakia making leather falconry gloves to a state-of-the-art workshop, producing an extensive variety of holsters we supply to individuals, police forces, and military units worldwide. Using only the highest quality European and U.S. materials available, Falco Holsters continues to thrive while proudly maintaining a personal approach. All products are handmade in Slovakia, in the heart of the beautiful Stiavnica Mountains, rich with history and appreciated as a World Heritage Site, UNESCO. We are proud of the precision of our skilled artisans and our ability to design and manufacture products, according to any customer's exacting needs and requirements. Our commitment to customer service and premium quality extends through our endless customization options, the Falco Holsters limited lifetime warranty, and fast, international FedEx shipping. Bob, my friend, I have been using Falco Holsters for some years now, and Falco has become one of my prime providers for my concealed carry needs. Of the several that I have, today I'm going to tell you about one of them the Falco A112 Hawk Holster, which can be made for a large variety of handguns. Due to my past experience with Falco holsters and craft holsters, we'll get into that later, I decided to tap into their products once again for a Smith & Wesson SW1911 E-Series 1911. I felt that the Smith & Wesson SW1911 E-Series 1911 had enough differences the external extractor for one, from a standard 1911 to warrant a separate holster. Visiting the Felco holster website, I was pleasantly surprised to see that Felco had added a line of clip-on IWB holsters. The A112 Hawk stable easy-on IWB leather holster is but one of them. I prefer clips over IWB holsters that use straps. Felco holsters has also expanded options that can be ordered for the holster. But let me show you the basic before we get to the options. You can design your own holster by choosing properties available in the configurator. Options include the following. Since I don't care for sweat guards, although the sweat guard on the Falco holsters are excellent, I decided against one, as is my preference. The underlay is a holster liner, which is supposed to be more friendly to the pistol. It is also prone to wearing through after time and many extractions and insertions of the pistol. 
I opted for no liner. The holster is rough end. One might question the wearing position option. If you prefer a straight, no cant in your holster, for example, appendix carry or even possibly a cross draw carry, the straight on the hip option would be for you. For us normal people, the in angle on the back is the option, as this provides the 15 degree cant needed to carry on or just off of the hip. Although available in black and other colors, the richness of the brown pleases my earthly soul. The black edging adds some contrast to the holster. The more than adequate reinforced mouth of the holster prevents it from closing under the pressure of belt and trousers. But there remains pressure placed on the iceberg of the holster, that part that is well hidden inside the trousers. When holstering the pistol, the pistol must be pushed into the holster to ensure that it is seated properly. All edges have been smoothed, dyed black, and polished. Where the layers of leather meets, it is almost seamless. The double stitching is excellent, as is the quality of the holster material. The holster has enough flex in it, when holstered, to aid in conforming to the body shape. I found this holster to be no wider than my hybrid holster from Black Arch Holsters that, incidentally, is no longer produced by that company. The cant of the holster is the usual 15 degree forward cant and for all intents and purposes is agreeable, although I do like a little more cant than normal people. The height of the holster, unlike most hybrid holsters, cannot be adjusted. However, the height is just enough to keep the mouth of the holster above the top of the trousers. The two mounting clips are excellent and keep the holster securely in place. The spacing of the mounting clips also keeps the holster stabilized. I have not had good experiences with holsters and narrow mounting spacing, especially with compact pistols and revolvers. There is no retention screw, and I have found that a retention screw and spacer is unnecessary, as the pistol is held securely by the pressure against the holster. You will have no worry about the pistol dropping free from the holster when you bend over. The mounting clips are not simply attached to the holster, they are embedded into it and are a part of the holster and then further held into place by rivets. When this holster is mounted on the belt, it is mounted on the belt. The A112 Hawk holster did not take a bit of breaking in. The Smith & Wesson E-Series 1911 slid easily into the holster the first time. I could not have asked for a better fit. The holster was ready for prime time right out of the box. I also have the Premium Holsters Care Kit that is available from Velco. That will not only help the break-in of the holster, but also take care of long-term care needs. The all stainless steel of the Smith & Wesson E-Series 1911 with the black, silver black laminate grip panels and black sights look great with the Velco A112 Hawk holster in brown with the black mounting clips. The A112 Hawk holster in this configuration is an ideal IWB holster should you prefer mounting clips over leather straps. If you prefer straps, and I do have one of those, then the A112 would be your choice. Either way, the holsters demonstrate the impeccable quality and workmanship that is being put into the creation of these holsters. On a final note, the Felco A112 Hawk holster was ordered specifically for the Smith & Wesson E-Series 1911. However, I have carried many other 1911 pistols in it, and they all carry just fine. Thank you. So, who is Felco? Felco is a brand that has history since 1989 and started by sewing simple leather holsters and falconry gloves for a local market. Some of these are still being made today. With higher demand and new rising markets, one of the widest portfolio of gun holsters on the market was built, keeping the same strategy of the craftsmanship, believing that customers appreciate the personal touch, precision, and effort put into making of their products. 
The products are made by one person only, from the start until the end of the production process. All of the products are made in Slovakia, Europe. And that is the interesting part, because Kraft Holsters claim to make gun carriers also in Slovakia. You see, Falco is the parent company, whereas a fairly new company called Kraft Holsters, a subsidiary of Falco Leather Company, is a company specializing in the distribution of top quality concealed carry holsters and duty gear all over the world. You would think that you will get the same holsters offered on the Felco website as you would from the Kraft Holster website. Well, not so fast, Sparky. The reason that I went with Felco holsters is that they are the maker and not a distributor. I have been able to order products from Felco that I could not find at the Kraft website. The A112 Hawk holster is an example of that. Well now, Bob, aren't you glad that we had this little get-together? I sure am. I was getting tired of carrying this thing around like this. I was getting a lot of weird looks. Trust me, Bob, when I tell you that's not the worst thing that could have happened. A good quality IWB holster, like the Felco A112 Hawk for that thing, will keep it, and you, protected. And it will be readily available when you need it. It is also a much better place than where I was going to tell you where you could put it. I appreciate that, Ronan, and I hope to see you soon. Happy to have been a help, Bob. Come back anytime. In the meantime, stay safe out there.